Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here, I do air fryer videos on Friday or every other Friday, depending on when I can get them out for you guys. Today we are going to be making mushroom bites. This is really easy to make. Here are the things that you're going to need to make this recipe. I got some sour cream, cream cheese. I didn't want to deal with uh, softening the other stuff, so I just got this, it's not gonna matter. And then some Cheddar Jack cheese. I have my salt, I have some garlic powder, and then I have my mushrooms. These are Baby Bella mushrooms, and yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So the first thing that I'm going to do is wash up my mushrooms and take out the stem of the mushrooms. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now, and I will come back. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is mix some cream cheese, spread or regular cream cheese softened into a bowl. I'm just gonna use this cup that I have here. I will leave everything down in the description for you to follow the recipe, but I'm just kind of mixing things together right now, so I'm, you don't really need to have an exact amount um, for this recipe. The, let's see, what is this? This is 16 ounces, so you could actually get an eight ounce if you would like, and just use that because I only use half of the container. And then you're going to mix together some cream cheese, and you can mix together as much as you would like for this too. And the size of this one is eight ounces, so that is completely up to you what you want um, to add to yours. And then just give that a good mix. Add some garlic powder to this, about a teaspoon, and then maybe like a half a teaspoon of salt and you can add more or less depending on what you want it to taste like. So I have my mushrooms right here and we are gonna fill these with our cream cheese mixture. If you have any of these parchment papers, you're gonna wanna put one of these in because this is gonna get messy. add your cheese. That's why I put them in here right away because I know that the cheese was gonna get all over the place. So we're just gonna do the best that we can to put cheese on top of these. Now, if you wanna mix the cheese in with your cream cheese mixture, you can go ahead and do that also, and then put everything in there. But we're just gonna do it like this today. So now that we have our mushrooms in our air fryer, we are gonna set our air fryer to 370, and mine automatically goes to there. We are gonna bring this down to eight minutes, and if you need to cook it for another two minutes, cook it for another two minutes. But we're gonna start with eight minutes, and I'm gonna come back when this is finished. Finished. Okay, so my mushrooms are done. I'm gonna plate them up really quick. All right, let me just take them out here. This is what it looks they look like. stuff extra on it okay so that is what they look like I'm gonna show you something really quick here I'm going to take out my parchment paper and I'm gonna show you my air fryer there is only a couple pieces right here that will pop off really quick and my air fryer is completely clean from using the parchment paper so if you guys want some I have a link down below 
just for parchment paper if you don't want to buy a whole kit. I am going to link another like accessory kit down below because I found one that is better than the ones that I have down there. The, the ones that um, I did for my giveaway, them have a hundred pieces of parchment paper for air fryers. So I will, if I remember, I will list that down below also. But yes, this is amazing using them parchment papers because I just had just a little bit that fell off when I took that off and I think it's worth it to use them. So, all right, so this is what the mushrooms turn out to be like. If you wanna make this dairy free, you can do that also. I just made it with regular sour cream and cream cheese and regular cheese for this video. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys like today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.